In this video, I want to show you an easy and useful way to build a fold up table. And I want to show you a new inexpensive slider that I got. Originally, I didn't want to make a video about either of those two things. But when I was building the table and after I had the slider for a few days, I decided that it might be good to make a video about it, because it could be interesting to you as well. So let's start with the table. Because my main desk is covered in tech and doesn't have any free space to do paperwork, I decided to get another table. But if you watch the video where I built my new setup, you probably know that there isn't a lot of space in my room. So I can't just put up another table and call it a day, because there is simply no space to put it on the table. So that's why I decided to make a table that you can just fold down when you aren't using it, so it's out of the way. That way I can even make it close to the door where you can't open the door fully. Because when I'm studying, I usually don't need to go out of the door. Because the space there isn't too big, I decided to go with the smallest Linmon desk from IKEA. That's just a tabletop. Then I got some hinges and two strips of wood from the hardware store. When it, with all the materials gathered, it was time for building. First, I cut the two wooden strips to 85 centimeters in length. That way they are at a 45 degree angle to the wall. Then I also cut a 45 degree angle on one side of the strip so that it is flush with the tabletop. Then I painted the two wooden strips with the same color as the wall is so it blends in nicely. Then I also drilled two 10 mm holes in either side of the table so I can later put in two rods where the legs connect to the table. Before attaching everything to the wall, I connected the hinges to the table and to the legs. Then it was time to connect it to the wall. There's where I also started filming. So enjoy. As you might notice, I used the slider for some of the shots you just saw. This is my newest addition to the gear. While I was researching for another other project, I stumbled over a Portuguese company called Redrick. They sell this really useful aluminium profile with many use cases. On the websites you can see that they sell sliders, chips, rigs, 3D printer frames and the raw material. But the awesome thing about it is, that it is all based on the exactly same principle. You have aluminium profile with many slots cut into it. In these slots you can either screw in things with the T-nuts or you can run wheels on them. That way you can build pretty useful slider or 3D printer or even CNC machines with this profile. Another great thing is that it is very affordable. The baseline slider costs only 45 euros and the more advanced ones go up till about 100 euros which still is very affordable for what they are offering. You can also get your slider in pretty much any length up to 1.5 meters 
which is ridiculous. I can't think of another place where you can get a cheap slider for under 100 euros that is so long and still usable. I settled for the V Slider Express at 80 cm length. This is a medium tier product and it cost about 70 euros. And I have to say, for the price I paid, I'm really impressed with the product. Sure, you may not find some of the higher end features you find on professional sliders, but they also cost multiple times as much. For only 70 euros, you get a slider which is really, really smooth. You can mount it to pretty much anything and it is very versatile. Depending on if you only use it in the studio or you use it to travel with, you can get different lengths. I really think that this is a great addition to my gear and you will certainly see it in many future videos. Now I have some more test shots for you. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and until next time.